greetings, good morning, good morning to each and every one of you in the community. This is Renee and we are here today for our time of meditation, our time where we are allowing God to step in and to get our undivided attention. You know, we have so much on our agenda for the week, for the day, for the hour. But just to take these few moments and set aside so that you can allow God to pour into you and to give you everything that you need. None of us know what you had to carry all week, what you had to bear. And so now in this moment, we are asking God to renew our strength, to allow us to be reset in this moment. And so as we offer up this time to him, we want to welcome in the presence of God's spirit. We want God to know that our hands are open wide, ready, willing, seeking to walk in full obedience. And so our hands are open to worship you, God. And so good morning, Abba Father the King of our salvation, the Lord of Lords, the Blessed One. Blessed be your name, God, above all other names. You are the true and living God, and we are so grateful to you. We open up our arms and worship to you, you O oh God to just allow you to know that we understand that we are nothing without you. And so, Father, we are asking that you would step into this place, that we would be able to encounter you, that you, God, will allow your word to reach the deepest parts of who we are so that we could be mended, that we can be healed, that we can be set free, that we can be delivered, God. We thank you, Father, that even in these moments that you are the one who carries it all. And so as we continue to trust in you, God, we cast our cares upon you in this space. We ask, Lord, that you would not only be with us and guide us, but that you, God, Will take the weight off of us that you god would allow us to be able to walk in that perfect peace thank you father thank you lord god thank you that you love us that you care that you consider us that you are faithful to us thank you, thank you lord god and so father we shift our hands to this upward motion in gesture of surrendering to you, God. Not our will, that your will shall be done in our lives, through our lives, with our lives, to our lives, God, your will be done. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And as your will is done in our lives, that we would rejoice, 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 and rejoice again for you are everything. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. And as we take down our hands and we just allow ourselves to be settled in this moment, just listening to God and, you know, what he is really saying to us in this season and the word of reminders, the words of reminder today is to take your stand, take your stand. And so taking a stand really means for us to just to adopt a firm position. Think about it in the natural. When we are standing and we don't want to move out of our place, think about being in line for something that you really want being in line for something that you really want. And you know 
as long as you remain in position, glory to God, as long as you stand firm, glory to God, as long as you remain unmovable, that you will receive that prize, that present, that gift, whatever it is, you will receive it, receive it, but you have to stand. So I encourage you to take your stand that regardless of what others may say, or regardless of what may be going on around you, you have to remain and maintain your position. That requires being determined. It means that we are willing to defend no matter what. That even when opposition or adversity comes up, we refuse to compromise. This taking of a stand means that we have to have some action. Action based on what we believe. Action based on what we are advocating for. And this requires faith and courage and conviction and a steadfast commitment. And so let me read in your hearing a scripture found in 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. And it says, therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain. And so staying in that space where you are steadfast and immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And so oftentimes we may isolate that work of the Lord to these operations that we do within a church building or within a church ministry or within a ministry. But we are the church. And so the work unto the Lord is the work of who we are, the work of how we are showing up, the work of believing where God is designing and destining us to go. That is where the work begins. What stand are you taking in every space that God allows you? Are you taking your stand? Are you immovable? Are you steadfast? And so I want to read another scripture just as we remember that this stand requires immobility. It requires a level of steadfastness. And so in the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter three verses, I'm going to read verses 16 through 18. And in this story, uh, King Nebuchadnezzar was commanding everyone to bow down to a golden image that he set up. But there was something different about these three Hebrew boys and what they decided in this moment. And so it reads in Daniel 3, 16 and 18, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to King O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this manner. If that is the case, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us from your hand o king but if not let it be known to you o king that we do not serve your gods nor will we worship the god image which you have set up and so shadrach meshach and abednego took a stand they decided that despite what he wanted everyone else to do that they were going to stand on their belief, their faith, and their conviction and knowing that God covers them, God protects them, God will keep them. And so they did not move off of 
their position. They did not move off of that space of that work of, a, of the Lord, being those representatives of Christ, recognizing that if they did not stand in that moment, what would it reflect about the God that they serve? So think about that very thing that you are moving towards, are working towards, are doing diligently. And it requires you to take a stand. It requires you to defend the very thing that you are believing God for, that despite what it looks like to others, that this is what God said for me. And so even when you face opposition and maybe this door will close, maybe this person will say no, maybe this one will call you crazy, but regardless of that, you refuse to compromise. You refuse to allow all of this opposition to cause you to cower down, to bow down. In the case of Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo, they refused to bow down to the golden image that King Nebuchadnezzar was trying to present to them. And so refuse to compromise, refuse to bow down to things that may seemingly appear to be okay. But God is saying, stand, take your stand. I have something for you. Take your stand. I'm leading you to something great. Take your stand because this is where I have positioned you. And so when you take that stand, you will receive the very reward that God has for you. And so that is our word of encouragement, that despite anything, we must stay steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. What did the Lord tell you to do? How did the Lord tell you to do it? When did the Lord tell you to do it? And how are you going to show up? Listen, it's no more time that we can waste saying, okay, Lord, I'll get to it. All right, God, tomorrow, today is the day. We must take a stand. We must get in our rightful place. We must allow ourselves to know that no matter what may come, your will, God, in and through my life, your will, this is the purpose of our lives. And so I plead with you, Take your stand, plant your feet firmly in God and don't let anything move you because through God, you can and will accomplish great and mighty things. Trust the Father, have faith in these moments, be bold and courageous like those three Hebrew boys and allow nothing to cause you to compromise in this place right now where you are. And so as we take in that word, I encourage you to close your eyes in this moment. And as your eyes are closed, just take in some breaths. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just allowing these breaths to reset you in this moment. That whatever place you were yesterday, that God is repositioning you today. And so allow the power of God to stand you up. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And so as you just imagine God standing you up, 
gently placing your feet firmly in the ground. Straightening up your legs. Aligning your back, your shoulders. Your head positioned, looking forward. And God saying, take your stand. Don't lose your position. Be unmovable and steadfast. And work unto the Lord. As we breathe, let us embrace this firmness that God is giving to us in this moment in our stand. This firmness that, that will allow our faith to be expanded. This firmness that will allow our courage to come to the forefront. This firmness that will allow us not to waver or tilt or compromise or be moved. But we are taking our position. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Don't allow your past to keep you from being present so that you can fully experience your future. We disassociate ourselves with regret. We disassociate ourselves with our inabilities. And we ask you, dear Lord, to just allow us to be able to stand. We take our stand today, God. We take our stand today, God. And in this moment, just take three breaths and as you are taking these breaths know that the father is giving you what you need to stand that the Holy Spirit is with you to help you as you continue to stand in our Lord Jesus Christ stands with you stood for you and remains a constant reminder of standing and seeing through what God has. Take your stand. Take your stand. Take your stand.
just taking a moment to silence ourselves in God's presence as we breathe and listen to God's voice. As we lift up our heads and open up our eyes, just rejoicing in the Lord, just knowing that God is with us. And so nothing can stop what God has already positioned. Take your stand. Take your stand. Take your stand knowing that if God is for you, who can be against you? Thank you, Lord. And so let us take in that final breath of inhalation, breathing out with great exhalation. We breathe in. And we release. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And so, as always, you're encouraged to journal what the Lord has spoken to your heart today. That always it is important for us to remember to meditate on God's promises and his precepts one moment at a time. This is what we are doing. This is what we believe will grow us. And this is what is going to keep us in alignment with God's purpose and his plan for our lives. So today, remember to take your stand. Be great when you go out into the world and encounter and allow yourself to be surrounded by people and places and circumstances. Take your stand in every arena. God is with you. Be great. Allow your light to shine and show someone else the love of God so that they too may desire him for themselves. God needs to build this army, but he's allowing us to be that conduit that helps in this building. You and I, every believer on this earth, we have a position to have others to reconcile back to God. that God's army is fully filled every corner from the north, south, east, and west. Glory to God. So have a beautiful day today. Smile, laugh, enjoy, and allow the joy of the Lord to be your strength as you take your stand. I love you.